Hey there, this is Stephanie from ESU 17 and um, I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Imagibox app. So I'm going to search for it quickly. And Imagibox is kind of a cool app. It's kind of basically like digital Play-Doh. And I love to do it when students are studying shapes. So the first thing you get to is this screen where you can choose kind of what color you want your um, background to be for your paper. You can see on like the blue one here that I actually put an image in the background um, because we were doing winter scenes with the students, but you can pick any color of paper you want and just tap on it to get started. So once you're here, um, on the left hand side, if I tap the yellow downward arrow, you're going to see your different options. I have my home, I have my trash, I have the picture button which takes a screenshot, and my volume. If I want to get rid of that, I can just tap the arrow again and it will kind of disappear. Over on my right hand side, you'll see my Play-Doh options. So I'm just going to kind of scroll down. You can see basically all of them are shapes. So I really like to use this app with students who are studying a certain shape and maybe they have to build a Christmas tree using only the shapes and things like that. I um, mean, you can see there are num also numbers and letters at the bottom. So the app is really pretty self-explanatory. Um, Right now you see all the Play-Doh is white because the white is selected out of the Play-Doh on the top right. If I want another color, I can just choose a different color from the Play-Doh options on the right hand side of my screen. Once they're there, all I have to do is kind of drag the item I like onto the screen. And I can kind of um, make it bigger or smaller. Um, one nice way to do that is by when you tap on the item, you can see this menu pops up and you can actually make it bigger by tapping the plus sign or you can make it smaller by tapping the minus sign. Um, another fun thing you can do is also rotate the objects with these rotator buttons and also kind of flip the objects with that flipper. Uh, you can also tap on the object and delete it if you no longer want it in your um, in your picture. Kind of like this little white thing I accidentally did. I just tap on the white thing, I tap the trash can button, and it will disappear. So your students can basically make these um, objects and they can kind of create their own picture. Uh, you'll see on the bottom right hand corner there are also some other options. I can tap on the paintbrush and I can also kind of use these markers to kind of draw. Um, I can use the eraser if I need to erase some of my work. And you can also kind of choose the size of your marker down in the bottom corner. If I want to get back to my Play-Doh, I'm just going to tap the shape, circular shape button in the top right corner, and I'm back to my Play-Doh. If I tap the little button down here, I can kind of change my background of my page again. And then finally, if I tap the bottom button in the right hand corner, I can actually put um, pictures from my camera roll into the background. So you know, if I had a copyright friendly image that I, I wanted to put on there in the background, I could. So this app kind of is really wide open. It's just a basic creativity app. Um, you can use it for a lot of different things. When you're done with it, uh, you can just tap on the yellow arrow thing again and you can um, tap the picture button and it will take a picture. I will warn you that I have not had great results using that picture button. It seems to kind of uh, change the ratios and cut some of it out. So what I tend to do is just tap on the yellow arrow to get that out of the way, tap on the blue arrow to get this out of the way, and then I take a screenshot with my iPad by tapping the power button and the home button at the same time. And that seems to work better for saving items to the camera roll. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.